What up, peeps? Mr. Bones back at you, and happy fucking Valentine's Day. What we're going to do here is talk about a film from the Into the Dark series from Hulu, produced by Blumhouse. A pretty good series. What I could have done was what everybody else does, but everybody talks about these movies, but I'll throw them in here as some honorable mentions from some of the staples for, uh, Valentine's Day Horror Classics, original classics, My Bloody Valentine. Then you got the remake, which is also good in my opinion. No one ever talks about this. Every time the big channels do like the big remakes, you talk, they talk about the nightmare, which is sucky, and Halloween. And Friday the 13th, the test of chainsaw, but nobody ever talks about this one. And it's a pretty damn cool the movie. has pretty cool kills in it and shit. Then you got Valentine. It's a cool 90s Valentine slasher. Kind of like a. Reminds you of like Scream or something. Has Marley Shelton from Scream 4 and 5. Catherine Heigl, Denise Richards, David Boreanaz. But what we're here to talk about is. Down. This is a. All it says on the IMDb is two co-workers find themselves stranded in an elevator over Valentine's Day weekend. It's called down because they're in an elevator. Going down. Stars Natalie Martinez as Jennifer Robbins and Matt Loria as Guy. That's what he says his name is, is Guy, but it's a fake name. His name is John something. So this is two guys stuck in an elevator, not guys, but two people stuck in an elevator by chance. They both work in a building, same big ass business building. Uh, she's getting ready to try to head home and go try to fix things with her fiance. And he's running down the hallway and says, wait, hold it, hold the elevator. And they just happen to get stuck in the elevator together. And it's uh, Valentine's Day weekend, just before Valentine's Day hits. And the elevator breaks down, so they're stuck there for a long period of time. They get to know each other, ask each other questions. They think each other are cool, nice people, and ask all these private, all these questions that she didn't get to know each other. The next thing you know, I have to admit, I've seen you a few times, and I think you're really pretty, and and then it turns into, I'd like to kiss you. And then they kiss. And then they end up having sex. And then it uh, turns into, well, she says, that was a nice experience. It was it was nice. But I'm still going to go and try to make up with my fiance after I get out of here. Which makes the other guy flip his switch and turn into a psycho. And start sharing more information, which was, he actually knew who she was. And he had said before he was new to the building, but he wasn't new. He turned out he works at the front desk security, and he fixed it so all the other security guards would be off duty, and no one else would be there, and he's the one that fucked up the elevator. And they show that uh, she, while she was looking at some kind of drawing on the wall is when he took his key and turned off the elevator, made her think it was broke. And then it just becomes a big fucking fight for your life, and fighting each other, and trying to kill each other, her trying to survive, him trying to kill her, and them doing shit to each other all through it, all through the movie, stuck in an elevator, until one of the security guards comes toward, mid toward the end, trying to help, and he kills him, and then she makes it, or, she tried to make it out, and he ends up knocking her out, taking her through the, uh, parking garage, and tying her up in the trunk, and taking her off down randomly down through an alley and filling the, a big dumpster full of gasoline plans on trying to burn her alive and I'll stop there and won't tell you anymore so if you decide to check it out you can find out how it ends yourself it turned out to be a pretty interesting pretty damn good movie I dig uh, I dig quite a few of these into the dark films on Hulu a cool series one I really enjoyed that I reviewed a few weeks ago 
was Pilgrim for Thanksgiving. Another one I like is Uncanny Annie. But, uh, you know, these are pretty good little films. I'd recommend you check it out if you haven't seen it or haven't heard of it. And that's what I watched. Peace.